Military from five countries are working together aboard Camp Lejeune for a special training exercise. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu has more on the Burmese chase and how it affects the battle space. Fire! Air support from F-18s, Cobras and Hueys, 81 millimeter mortars. Wednesday, military from the UK, France, Netherlands, US and Norway work together to familiarize themselves with each other's training. It allows us to integrate with those indirect fire agencies. It gets to show other communities as well as NATO partners what tanks can do. In the hopes of being more effective in a coalition environment. Warrant Officer 2 Paul Holland is with the UK military's 148 battery. The world's uh, an uncertain place at the moment and we could be deployed at any moment back to Iraq, to Afghanistan, to maybe Syria. Um, and obviously we're one of your biggest allies and we want you to be one of our biggest allies. Um, so we want to be able to work with each other. The Marine Corps recently moved the Burmese chase to the East Coast. It's a large scale event designed to utilize joint terminal tactical controllers and leverage them to call for fires on the battlefield. Come out to North Carolina, get a lot of our allies in one place at one time from uh, four different countries outside of the U.S and work through various plans, just getting ready for any type of contingencies or combat, future combat operations. The exercises include M1A1 Abrams, artillery fire from seven kilometers away, and 81 millimeter mortars affecting various mechanized targets. Aboard Camp Lejeune, Elizabeth II, none on your side. The Burmese chase has taken place for at least 30 years. Until recently, it was held in California on a much smaller scale.